you're experiencing limerence and it's becoming overwhelming. It might be all that you can think about and it might feel like the most isolating and painful feeling that you've ever experienced. I know how difficult this is and I've seen many clients as a counsellor and this experience is, is common among those who have limerence or are going through limerence. So here we're going to be talking about what it means to zoom out and give yourself a bit more perspective when it comes to limerence, giving you at least some momentary relief or at least an exercise you can turn to when you feel so overwhelmed that there's almost nothing else you think you can do other than sit there and think about the limerent object. By the way, I'm Marios. I'm a doctoral student in counselling psychology in London and I help people with limerence primarily, but I also look at anxiety and other romantic kind of issues that people have. On this channel, we're talking about anything psychology related, anything I think might be helpful or interesting to people. So hopefully you will like and subscribe and stick around so that, yeah, we can continue making stuff. So you'll know when it's too much. Limerence can take over your life so much that it's the first thing you think of when you wake up and the last thing you think of when you go to sleep. And this can become deliriously painful in that you feel completely lost in this experience. You feel like you'll never get out of it and that there is no future without some sort of fulfillment of this fantasy. And I'm here to let you know that that's not the case or it doesn't have to be. You do have to work with limerence. It will resolve itself eventually, most likely, but it helps to actively work on it. So the technique I'm going to suggest for you is I just call zooming out. It's not really a technical procedure or anything, but I have found it helpful with clients. So the technique is when you are feeling so overwhelmed and so stuck in that momentary experience of I cannot stop fantasizing, reaching out, like seeking more information about the limerent object. My whole day, my whole life is dictated by this. I'd like you to try and retrace your steps as to who you were before limerence, meaning what is it that kind of led you up until this point? Now you can go as far back as your mind will, will take you and it might want to give you some clues as to how you did end up here. And I think this introspection, it doesn't necessarily help to like over analyze your life just because you just get really involved in the story rather than be present. But at the moment you're struggling a lot with being present anyway because you're, all you're thinking about is this person. So the thing to do is to start to remember the story of you before you entered this situation and you'll start to see like you know what I've been through some stuff and you know at this time in my life it was lonely school was tough these people were tough my family has had issues you know there are these things that make us who we are and we explore them in therapy all the time but here I'm looking at it not so much as an analytical exercise I don't want you to necessarily diagnose yourself as to why you suddenly have limerence because that's a difficult thing to do limerence is not a a codified or you know well-recognized condition or state so we don't know exactly what causes it so I don't think it's helpful for you to but rather than say this is definitely why it's good to just explore and say hey I think I've developed some sensitivities around this topic and I feel like I was lacking and you know what this person helped me feel like I wasn't lacking anymore this person helped me feel like I was worthy for the first time in a long time that is that is one of the most intoxicating things that people can do is to make us feel important, especially when we lack the conviction and the belief that we matter. So I think the natural moving out of limerence is to develop a strong sense of self, to believe that you are worthy and truly believe that. You may feel like overall, you know, that you agree with that statement, but I think inherently there is a feeling of lacking in your life if you are limerent. There's something, it's pointing to something. It's not a real thing that it's pointing to. The, the limerent object is like a, it's just a, an image that you're looking at, but actually what is missing is something within you or, or within your life. And you're just kind of externalizing it as this person. That's at least the experience that I've had seeing clients. And it's kind of useful to, to tr retrace back and say, you know what, I've never dealt with my crippling self-esteem or my anxiety around the opposite sex. 
those are things that you may have forgotten were big parts of your life. They may not actively come up for you as problems, but looking back might make you think, oh, you know, that was there and it evolved. Maybe it's still there. Maybe I overcame it. And what that does is, is reconnect to you with the fact that you are a whole person with a whole life and your life is not all about this person, even though it feels like that right now, you have a whole story, a whole life that you've lived up until this point. And for this narrow band, hopefully narrow, that you've been experiencing limerence, it does feel like everything else has disappeared. But what this exercise invites you to do is to reconnect with a story where you are the protagonist. This is another theme I see a lot with limerence is you cease to be the protagonist in your own life when you are limerent. The limerent object becomes the protagonist. They become the star of the show, even though everyone's life is, their own life is the most important thing to them. In this case, that has stopped. And I think it is because of that lacking that we feel or that we're not, maybe not conscious of yet, but there's something in us telling us, hey, I'm scared of this big change in life. I don't know if I have enough in my life. I'm not sure if I've done enough with my life. These are all anxieties we all feel as we get older, as we go through life. So why has this symptom of limerence turned up? And looking back, making it about you rather than about them. And I've noticed this can diffuse the moment a bit. It can create uh, a bit more space where you can work on yourself in a bit more of a holistic way rather than being so hyper-focused, laser-focused on them and your current experience of getting drunk, essentially, on their, well, on the idea of them, on your fantasies of them. So I hope this helped. Leave me a comment if there's anything else you'd like me to cover or if you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Look after yourself.